piece to it uh, is you've got to make sure that it can appraise. Well, can I add this too, Paul? That, I think that's another reason too to, you know, do a pre-inspection or at least a pre-inspection checklist because a lot of times on the back end, everything's accepted and whatnot, but then they get the inspection and now they're like, sometimes yeah. use the inspection to get the price, you know, the price down on the house. But if you did it on the front end, you probably could have priced out some of the repairs and got it done, you know, more efficiently than right. just grabbing whoever you can get at the last minute. Right. And let me ask you a question. Okay. Is a home with a pre-inspection worth more than a home without a pre-inspection? Absolutely. It's the bright red shiny car that you saw. That's why CarMax does better than Joe Bob Jimbo's car lot on the corner because CarMax has, you know, however many point pre-inspection, you know, you know what you're getting, good reputation versus Joe Bob's trailer on the corner who's selling used cars, you know, I'm going to pay more for CarMax. Uh, how much negotiating do you do at CarMax? <sighs> they will not budge. Well, exactly. How about Jim Bob? How much, how much negotiating do you think he's doing? Well, you take my dog and <laughs> I'll throw in that uh, set of thimbles that we got. Yeah, right. I mean, you're exactly right, Pre uh, Preston, in that, you know, when, when we go into these inspections, again, we go house A, house B. Um, what unfortunately happens, let's say you have a, a leaky shower that has caused a problem in both houses, right? But right. house A had it inspected, did the work, fixed it. House B, now, one, the buyer might get so freaked out, they don't even want right. them to repair. They may walk and say, these people haven't taken care of the house, and this problem is not going to be. And then even if the seller promises to fix it, same price to fix it. Right. But they get in there and go, well, there's more problems that, that we're What else? Find. What else is there? Right. That water is going to cause more damage than right underneath the shower, and we're going to have to start all over again, and we're going to have expenses down the road. What mold? Or Takes that. Uh, we don't use go. that word. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's put some money in the cuss cup. Where's the cup? Put some money in the cuss cup. They'll do. They'll do. Fungal growth. That's right. Yeah. But you're right. Microbial growth. Yeah, microbial growth. Yeah. That came from your last report. Yeah, yeah. Real quick, we got 30 seconds. All right. Auto reverser on your garage door. Okay. The garage door, when it goes down, if you cross that little laser line or you put any resistance on it, it should go into auto reverse. If it's not or that laser line's out of approach, it, the door's not going to go down. You're just going to have to hold the door. So, and the auto reverse should be real sensitive. If you hold it just a little bit, it should go back. And there's a little adjustment on your uh, garage door, the little motor up there. It's a little Phillips head screwdriver. You can adjust the sensitivity. And sometimes so. just make sure the sensors are pointing. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> if you got kids with scooters, <laughs> that, 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 that does make a difference. The show your real estate today. We love being with you. We're here in the studio. Call us 704-570-1110. We'll be right back after the break.